Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? Uh, it has been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, my daughter's out of school and uh, she and I have been doing a bunch of just father-daughter stuff just kind of hanging out together plus um, her softball season ended and um, they had a tournament they came in first place so that was kind of nice uh, it was great to see them see the girls playing as hard as they did and so with all of that I haven't gotten a whole lot done and just been a little bit busy but I thought I would show you uh, some of the things that I've picked up recently and um, I've just completed kind of working on because it was just kind of simple it was easy to pass a couple you know a little bit before bedtime or whatever so uh, to start off with I want to show you uh, another project I'm starting to build up on like I need another one but um, I got this strange notion in my head to do um, six millimeter uh, seven years war so I just uh, got in so Monday or Tuesday uh, some Bacchus uh, six millimeter French uh, figures and I just thought I'd show them to you so here is um, some count no, up, up these are generals. This is from their generals pack. If I can zoom in a little bit here, actually see some detail on here. So again, six millimeter. They look really nice. I've had uh, buckets for years before and uh, they are a pleasure to paint up. Uh, here's some infantry again really nice uh, and I'm thinking about rules wise going with uh, warfare in the age of reason or uh, the Coin Craig uh, edition number four, which just came out within the last what six months or something like that. Thinking about using those, but just thought I'd show you some of these figures real quick. More infantry. Um, here we go. Here's a. Cannon, once we get into focus. So all this came with the French Army pack, so it was a nice way to get kind of get started. A little some infantry or uh, the cavalry horses, Victor. Those are cavalry, not infantry. And I will do a. Uh, little video on how I paint these. This more cavalry. And uh, that's pretty much it. Wait, hold on. There's some These are the artillerymen for the cannon. Those are really nice. And also with that, you also get a set of flags. So in this particular one, they gave me flags for these uh, regiments. So. Yeah, that's the next project. Like I said, like I need another one. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to show you 
Um, so in the last video I did where I um, shown you the finished product on the Adobe building from 3D Design, I had shown you a uh, special movement tray that I had Ron specially make for me to fit my fit my uh, War of Spanish Succession troops. So with that, I finally finished all 200 bases that I purchased from him. So, and I have to say that they went together very, very easily. Um, this rim right here is all one piece. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen uh, Lit, uh, Litco or Litico, uh, however you pronounce their company name. Uh, if you buy a movement tray, these are in three separate pieces, and Ron did this all as one. So it was very easy to just kind of put some white glue down on the edge and put it on. Um, again, uh, it's 120 millimeters long by 30 millimeters deep to fit my units. So there's that. I did made uh, 200 of them. I put 200 of them together. All went together very easily. Now today in the mail, I'm gonna actually do something like Fraser does over in uh, on his channel. I'm gonna actually open this on air. I don't cut myself to shreds here. This is my first time that I've ordered from war bases in the UK and these just arrived so these are going to fit my uh, AWI project so they should Ta -da. Even though he's a Mexican bandito, um, the base size is right. So they're 25 millimeter rounds. This will be good for a regiment tray uh, for Rebels and Patriots and uh, Sharps practice. So I just wanted to show those off. This is the first time I've bought anything from war bases, and I have to say that ordering from them was very easy. And I was rather surprised at how quickly. They arrived here from the time that they told me they shipped. It was only like maybe five days from the UK to here. So that's really all I have, folks. I hope everybody's having a good day. I've been trying to keep up with everybody's uh, videos. Uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed lately. Appreciate it. Uh, please comment, uh, like, share video if uh, you have any questions please post it below and uh, if nobody's ordered from 3d design bacchus or um, war bases i will put their links to their websites in the description again i hope everybody's having a great day and hopefully within the next couple of weeks i can get some more painting done like i said it's just been a little hectic so i'll talk to you all soon everybody have a great weekend bye